Hello everyone, my name is Halina Kucherava. I'm a professional designer and visualizer. I want to show you some of my works and tell you about the principles of my work. Mostly I work on interior concept design and visualization and sometimes I create the exterior visualizations. Here are some of my works. Here you can see the visualization works for the Antonia International Company, the residential buildings and hotels. Here is the visualization of the house renovation and my interior design concepts. In my work, I try to combine the realistic daylight with the lamplight and I try to make it as much realistic as possible. This is one of my concept design projects for a fitness studio that uses the sand cover on the floor. And this is one of the most interesting projects that I've done. It was made for the Stitch Media Company and the Canadian TV show Home to Win. And these visualizations were used for the interactive application on the TV show's website. There were six different interiors and seven different styles of these interiors that can be switched between each other and the users can create their own interiors. Also, as I like to play with the realistic lighting and combine the daylight and the lamplight, I like to work with the different color palettes. Here you can see the same bathroom with the completely different color palettes applied. So I want to share some of my knowledge with you and give you some tips how to create interesting, colorful, cozy and welcoming pictures. Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to get a realistic interior lighting using Corona Render and adjusting it with tone mapping. Often we need to have a daytime render with the lights on. This is why I chose this scene with the all lights on and the daylight going through the window. Now I want to show you how my lighting scheme works. I have the HDRI map on the environment slot. Here is the day scene that I use. And here are the current lights uh, that simulate the halogen lights built into the ceiling and into the niche by the orchid. I use current lights with with intensity 900 lumens. Why I use lumen units and not the default watts or candela? As we have different types of light bulbs, the default watts will reflect the amount of power that the light bulb takes and the lumen units will show how much light the light bulb gives. To know the right intensity of the light bulbs, we can check it uh, in any lighting chart uh, that reflects the types of light bulbs and lumens and watts. So if we take the LED lights, we can see that uh, this light bulb needs just 8 watts and it produces 
450 lumens. And if we take halogen light bulb, it produces 800 lumens but takes only 43 watts. So if we use watts, we won't have the real amount of light that the light bulb gives. So I set my intensity 900. Now the color. I use Kelvin units to set the temperature also because we can uh, check the temperature of each light bulb and uh, we have the Kelvins that show how warm the light is. As this is a dental interior and uh, we need a little warm light, I decided to make it 4500. Here you can see the color that the light bulb gives. The disc shape uh, gives me the direction of the light. Also, I turned off visibility of the light and I turned on the IES because I decided to choose some of the IES files that will give me this nice light shape. So to set this light scheme, first of all, we need to turn off the environment. I turn off the environment before I set the lamp light, because, for example, if we set the daylight first and the day is bright, then if we turn on the lights, we will have too bright scene and uh, it won't look realistic enough because if we are in the room that is lit very well we don't need to turn on the lights and it will look odd to turn them uh, so to get the right amount of light i set here 12 halogen lights built into the ceiling and let's see how they look in the interactive window. We can see that in general we have enough light, but here we have two bright parts of the rendering and we can adjust this with the tone mapping. The exposure makes the rendering lighter or darker. If we set it zero, it will become darker. But I think that one will be just fine because here we will have not too dark parts of the render. Highlight compress is the option that gives us the opportunity to take out these two bright parts of the rendering. Let's set it. Two. Maybe two is not enough, maybe two and a half. I think this is enough. But uh, I want to warn you that if we use too much light compress, our picture will lose the contrast. That's why we need just to use it slightly. The white balance gives us the opportunity to edit the temperature of the picture when it's rendered and let's try to make it less as you can see the white balance uh, is also reflected in kelvins so i think maybe this is too cold let's make it 5500 so as you can see, just adjusting the render slightly, we get this great result. And also, if you want, we can use the contrast, but I think that this scene is contrasting enough. So after we check that we have enough lighting in the scene and it's it looks uh, more or less realistic we can turn on our environment
first of all we will set the overall um, multiplier to 1 and copy it in instance mode into the environment slot and then start interacting once more Now as we can see here the HDRI map is maybe too dark and we don't get enough daylight into the room. So let's make the HDRI map brighter. For example 10. So now we can see that the window is lit better and here we can get this nice blue reflection but I think that we can add some more multiplier so now we get the impression of the cloudy day with the cold daylight and the contrast between the cold daylight and warm light of the interior. So let's wait until uh, the render becomes more clear and then we will see how everything works. So now we have less noise and we can see the, the lighting scheme works well. I think that we can add a little more exposure to make the picture some brighter. And as we have here too bright space, we need to add some highlight effects. So now we have bright enough interior and we can render it. So this is all I wanted to tell you about the realistic lighting in Chrome render and adjusting in tone mapping. Thank you for your attention.